Magandang umaga po ulit sa inyong lahat and welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Panawag. I have a friend, his name is Father Don. Uh, when we were assigned together in the Gaspi, we, did, we had this running joke when coming biruan palagi na kapag magkasama kami and we would see a big sign on the road or in a park or something, pupunta kami dun sa malapit na sign, limbawa sign ay exit, Pupunta kami doon sa malapit ng sign, stand under this huge sign and say, Saan ba yung exit? <laughs> so, playing playing slow, nang nagtatangatangahan. Punta kami doon sa ilalim, nasa ako kaya kung McDonald's sign, saan ba yung McDonald's? Nandun na sa ilalim namin, nasa ilalim na kami ng no McDonald's sign. So, we'd play slow. In the gospel that we read today, we find the Pharisees asking for a sign. But nasan yung parang siya sabi ng mga Pharisees, nasan ba yung McDonald's? And nandun na sila sa McDonald's. Asking for a sign. And that's why from the depths of his heart, Jesus ah, made a sign you know, and said, Why does this generation even ask for a sign? Kumbaga, eto na oh. This is the sign. I am the sign. After all the, the miracles and the good lessons that Jesus had taught and miracles that he had made, still the Pharisees are asking for a sign. Pero sabi ni Jesus, ito na, ano pa yung mo? What else are you looking for? This is the sign. But the fact is, or the, what, what's important is, nakita nga ng Pharisees yung sign, nakita nila yung mga miracles, narinig nila yung mga lessons, but they never recognized Jesus. Yun ang point, yun ang mali. They never recognized Jesus as the sign. Nakita na, hindi lang ni-recognize. Madalas nangyayari din naman sa atin yan, di ba? Nakikita na natin yung sign, pero hindi naman natin sinusunod. Hindi naman natin ginagawa. Nakita natin yung sign, uubo-ubo na tayo. You still don't go to the doctor. Alam mo na yung sign, uubo-ubo kami, something's wrong. And yet, you don't go to the doctor. The sign becomes useless. Hanggang maganda sakit, sakit, malag, maging malalang malala na yung mga sakit mo. We find that we, we are, our wounds are not um, healing quickly. Kain pa rin ng kain ng matamis, di ba? Kain pa rin ng kain ng matamis. Di ba pag sign ng, of diabetes yun, kapag hindi, hindi agad-agad nag-heal yung sugat. Malalang diabetes na yun, actually. Kaya kain ka pa rin ang kain ng matamis, no? We don't heed the signs. We do that many, many times. Not only in, in very natural things, but even in, in more important things. Andyan na yung commandments. Honor your father and mother. Uh, do not steal. Do not covet your neighbor's goods. And yet, that's ating selfishness. We, we don't follow the signs. Nakita natin. But the question is, do we recognize those signs? And even more importantly, do we follow those signs? Even in our lives, and dami-daming signs na binibigay sa atin ng Diyos to live a better life, to live a happier life. And yet we fail to recognize or we fail to follow the signs. So, siguro, one of the um, questions and motivations this, this uh, Mass is asking us today is do we recognize Jesus really as a sign? Do we recognize the signs that Jesus brings to us or gives to us each day? Do we recognize them so that we could follow and live a better life? But even more importantly, I think we should ask ourselves, are we Bilang, just as we are followers of Christ, have we become signs as well? And I think that is the more important question. Tayo ba mismo nagiging signs for others? Signs to the kingdom. Signs of the kingdom. Signs to follow our examples, our way of life, so that people, all of us, can go to God's kingdom. Are we, have we become signs? Or do people just see us as who we are, as ordinary people, as uh, 
Father Robi, as uh, Prokopio or Kulasa, do, do they just see the person? Would it be nice if they were able to see us also as signs like Jesus, as signs to the kingdom? Let us all stand now.